If you feel that bad, Nana, you should just stay home. I wish I could, but I mean, we're already short one person as it is. Okay. I'll be all right. See you tonight. Good morning. I'm glad you're here early. The three of us have lots to do with Sarah out. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, just a little tired from a late night. Uh, where are the production sheets? Well, first thing we can do is start making the salads. Okay. Bucket. Mina, you're sick. Oh, Linda, I'm so sorry. Do you want someone to drive you home? No, I can drive myself. Are you sure you two can finish without me? Uh, we'll make do. Call me later and let me know if you feel up to coming in tomorrow. Nana. Yeah, I didn't think she looked very well this morning. And all she said was that she was tired. Well, with both her and Sarah out today, we're going to have to hustle to get lunch on time. This looks okay for now. We'll mop the entire floor after lunch. Let's wash up and get back to work. Isn't Sarah under the weather with vomiting today, too? So, in addition to the 10 students reported Tuesday, we had 25 students either leave early or were absent yesterday, as well as three teachers and our food service manager, Linda. Today, we have 16 more students absent and two teachers. We believe that neurovirus is causing the outbreak based on the doctor's reports and the symptoms. Neurovirus can spread quickly from person to person and through food and is very contagious. The entire school is gonna need to be disinfected. On Tuesday morning, Linda called in sick. That's when we learned about Nina's vomiting and Sarah's illness and called you. I recommend closing the school immediately for thorough cleaning. Okay, we have to contact all parents and alert the media about this outbreak and school closure. Let's start on the press releases now.